Hi everyone, I just wanted to provide a formal welcome to this presentation. So the artwork I selected um, today for this presentation is Saturn Devouring His Sun um, by Francisco Goya. And this artwork was created from 1819 to 23. And my name is Michael Gerald O'Rourke. All right, just to get started. So um, this painting, I just wanna take note to the size first before we begin anything, just because it's a very large artwork. It was 2D, um, it's an oil painting. And um, you can see that the way shape is expressed with the human figure is really interesting. And that's what made me denote this um, artwork as an abstract piece, just because the way the human form was expressed was really interesting. You can see Saturn, um, the individual devouring the human, um, the way his skin and his limbs are expressed in a length form and with the skin almost like draping over the bones is a really interesting way to um, represent a human form and which is something that you don't really see every single day. So that's just a basic description. Um, just to give a visual walkthrough, you can see um, this is part of Francisco Goya's um, Black series, which was a series of paintings um, that he did with a black background. Um, so you can see that the way he uses darker values with Saturn really um, makes it seem like he's blending into the background of the artwork and he's emerging forward. And you can see the body he's actually eating, which is his son, hence the title of the artwork. Um, it's really provided emphasis with the red and the blood, which is part A to provide emphasis, but also to really show how gory this piece is. Um, Francisco Goya was known to create incredibly gory and violent pieces. And as much as he would express things from like biblical times and religious artworks, he also would frequently comment on issues with society, such as labor laws. And the way Francisco Goya really commented on society through his artwork and the religious world was really significant. So that's just one of his pieces that really shows a great comment on religious context and the religious world. And then you can see, so basically the principles of design here are the emphasis on Saturn's son, the, in, the individual who is being devoured, and the harmony provided with the dark background is really interesting. And then, of course, you always can see line within the artwork. I mean, line and color, in my opinion, are really what creates shape. And you can see, obviously, expressing human form. And then the texture of the human skin um, on Saturn, it's very, like, dry and draped on his bones compared to the body he's devouring, which it seems to be younger and healthier. And you can see Goya really does take advantage of the way he uses texture and color to really express how like unhealthy you can observe Saturn being. He's just, obviously he does not, his human form is augmented. So he just doesn't look like a traditional person. And then, so the interpretation of this piece. So as I interpret it, it's a comment on religious context. So basically, um, Saturn is a biblical figure, a Christian biblical figure, which is also seen in Roman mythology, hence the name Saturn, um, which is obviously our planets are named after the Roman gods. And um, it's just showing how I think Saturn really is almost like playing God, or well, since he is a God, he is playing go a God and serving justice. And you can see that the universe always corrects itself and that the universe will always go to the greatest lengths to fix what is hence gone wrong, which you can see that um, Saturn is devouring his son, which is a very significant thing for a parent to um, not necessarily abandon their child, but to completely disregard that parent to child um, relationship and to kill his son. And this is a comment on society being brutal, but also God himself being brutal 
that if you don't follow his rules and if you don't live by God, that you will be punished in the afterlife. And this is a visual representation as as much as churches will teach that God is a loving figure, he's also a figure to be feared. And Francisco Goya understood that he was a religious man and he really did place a lot of value in his life on religion. So to really sum it up, it's a comment on on religious lifestyles, meaning following God. The artist was expressing the brutality of God. And this is essentially just about the way God serves justice. And the title is significant, I'd say. I mean, it's a very, it's a descriptive title. It kind of is exactly what the artwork is. And this, the formal qualities are just, you know, expressing human form and showing the augmented human form to maybe represent God in an augmented human way. And then to move on to judgment, so my personal opinions of this artwork. So formally, um, I see it as two augmented human figures, um, plain and flat. It's a augmented larger individual devouring a smaller individual showing power versus submission and how power will really always come over. And then the context, context, it's religion. at this time, 1823, 1890 to 1823, um, specifically in America and Europe, um, religion was still, well, today it still is, but at the time, religion was, of course, a very huge influence. Not as much as it was um, maybe in the 15 and 1600s, um, religion started to, you know, with re- industrial revolution, um, you can see how society kind of delineates from religion, and Goya may have been commenting on his distaste for that the way society was changing and the way he expresses the black series i'm a huge fan of it i think it's really special um you really even today you don't see a lot of artworks with a black background and the way he accomplished this with an ivory black similar to the way we see the like up and coming vanta black now which is a shade of paint that absorbs so much light Uh, you can see that he really spent a lot of time emphasizing the darkness of the canvas and the way um, Saturn emerges from the darkness and blends in almost like the canvas is like an abyss and that it's not so much a limit to the artwork it's more of showing the depth of the artwork and how there is no depth there's there is so much depth depth and at the same time there is no depth because the depth is infinite and it's just a large space with Saturn emerging and the I mean Today, the artwork isn't as effective as I think it would have been about 200 years ago. I mean, to comment on religion now, you can't really scare people into believing God the same way you could have 200 years ago, just with the internet and the way society has um, gone on to educate themselves further outside of the church. So as much as this artwork is really interesting to look at today, I mean, the scale of it at the time, it was a very large piece. Um... The way it commented on society 200 years ago was very revolutionary, but today humanity continues to be um, exposed to the horrors of society and they almost have become normal or traditional. So as much as this artwork may be jaw-dropping, it may be eye-opening, and it may be shocking to look at, it really today is not as mind-blowing as it used to be. And once again, um, my name is Michael. Here's my work cited. Um, I used Art History by Marilyn Stockstead and Cawthorn.